Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's herb is uh, rosemary, which is in Arabic it's called Iklila Jabal, or um, if you translate the Arabic name to English, it means the crown of the mountain. I believe the name rosemary in English means like dew sea, which is uh, refers to the fact that it grows. Um, in places that are by the sea. Now, the rosemary is one of also one of the very important herbs for um, uh, Sufis or mystical um, practitioners in Islam. Um, it has been in traditions um, for a very long time, but it was mainly used during the um, time where the focus was on the Moroccan dynasty uh, which is in on the western coast of Africa. It was used by these people for many different things and in our books we find descriptions for a lot of interesting and curious uses when it comes to just normal health. Um, but uh, this is not the topic here. I will mention some of the topical uses or the uses for like the normal like um, uses that we have in as Sufis in uh, that are not spiritual. But I, I will I will start by talking about the spiritual effects. The rosemary plant is very good at removing negativity. It is one of the ingredients of a lot of incenses and perfumes that we make and also a lot of herbal mixes that we make that uh, protect people from evil and negativity uh, by the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, some of the scholars um, in Sufism, they believe that this is uh, a very important use and it should not be wasted because it seemed to be the only thing that could treat some of the most complicated cases of spirit possession at some point. Um, and uh, as, as long as someone had rosemary, um, you would... Um, rub it on the, pa on the patient or the spiritual patient's forehead and you'd recite the Qur'an, the ayahs in the form of Ruqya. Um, you can also scatter rosemary uh, about around the room where this, um, it, it's an exorcism, exorcism in a sense, but it's a Ruqya Shari and they use it, they used to use it very, um, intensively for that. Now, rosemary is also very good for attracting, again, attracting love and attracting money. But it is not, I would say, um, in attracting money, it's probably not as powerful as things like frankincense, for example, which I've made a video about before. Uh, and with love, I think, my personal belief is that, is that with love it, it works by eliminating negativity from a relationship or by reducing the amount of negativity, but it does have its own attraction value when it comes to that. However, it is not as powerful as some of the original um, love ingredients, the things that people used to traditionally attract love, like the rose for example. This is not to trivialize rosemary at all though, it is an extremely powerful herb at, at removing negativity and there's something about rosemary that by the power of God it can um, send things back to people who have sent them to the person. So if, if a person carries rosemary with them, um, then the evil that has been sent to them by other people, whether it's in the form of negative thoughts, black magic, or any kind of hexes or curses, or even negative spirits, they go back to whoever has sent them. 
I have seen this firsthand many times and I have seen it happen in my own personal life and in the personal life of people um, I know and it really did return the evil back and it wasn't even black magic it was just someone trying to um, on one occasion it was someone trying to uh, it was it was prejudice against a, a certain person that I knew and um, it just happened that that person was carrying rosemary and I could see the energy going away from the, the person who was the offender going towards the victim and then going back to the offender again and I was um, like surprised by that because it was an effect that I didn't know about before I saw it with my own eyes and then after a while I heard about whatever the, the, the offender wanted to do to the victim the offender suffered so this is a, it's not to encourage revenge or for people to you know get their own back so to speak but it is a very defensive herb in some European traditions and especially in Sufis who are based in places like Turkey and Europe they encouraged um, people um, to plant rosemary at the, in their homes to protect it from the evil eyes, to protect it from negativity and some even went to the extent of saying rosemary would protect from theft. I haven't seen this bit about theft, I haven't seen it because I know of other herbs that I will talk about that will protect against theft but rosemary did protect against negativity and it did send back negativity to people who brought it to the people, um, the victims. Now the rosemary plant is also well known in um, alternative medicine for its ability to cure headaches um, and for its ability to grow hair very thick and very long and in a very rapid time, quick time. Um, I don't know about the research about this and the science behind it but I have also seen this first hand and it has worked whether it's um, a drop of essential oil in, uh, you know, uh, some of a carrier oil and then the person uses it on the hair or on the eyelashes and it really does grow the hair and makes it thick. Um, it also is very effective at removing headaches. From my point of view, I used to get headaches personally as um, I was learning the Quran, I was learning things and this was some kind of negativity that was trying to prevent me from actually finishing my work. I would be fine whilst I was reciting and everything, but when I went back home, um, I would get this headache, like a terrible headache. And then I had a look into it, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to me in a royal that it was something very dark that was trying to get my, the area of my head. So, I... Um, asked uh, my teachers at the time and they said use rosemary on the headache because it, and, and read the Quran, read which is the last three surahs of the Quran which, we, which is the, they, they seem easiest but they are also the most effective for Ruhi against anything caused by negativity um, from our point of view and, and we found results with it to be a very rapid and lasting I cannot tell you enough about how much it helped me with the headache. It just switched it off like a light bulb. And every time it start, tried to wiggle, wiggle its way back into my, in my head, I just put the rosemary on and I read the Quran and it just took it away. Um, it does work in this respect um, and especially when the headaches are believed to be caused by something supernatural. Okay, as Muslims we believe in like the negative uh, spirits, negative uh, supernatural entities and the evil eye and even envy and jealousy can cause that kind of reaction in some sensitive people. So, I would encourage you guys to get a rosemary plant, put it in your home if you're worried about any negativity. Use it to protect yourselves when you're out and about from all kinds of things, uh, it does deflect the evil eye even though we, from our practice, al the black seed 
and uh, anise and so on are better at, at removing uh, and blocking the evil eye than rosemary, but it still does help. I would say the niche of rosemary in terms of spiritual um, things is that it is best at being a first defense or a frontline defense if there's any negativity trying to attack the person from the outside. It's really good at protecting the person. As far as love is con are concerned, it does also have a big role in removing negativity from relationships. So if someone brings some rosemary or rosemary oil and prays on it for that purpose and uses it, I would say, for seven days or up to 14 days as to how bad the situation is, bathe with it, um, what make like a, a, a boil it into like a brew or a, or a tea, let it cool down, wash the floors with it, um, or just get the essential oil and use it. And pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the Quran like a form of ruhya to remove this negativity. Go and find out what the ruhya, the, the nas or the exact recitation for the ruhya is and use it with the rosemary. It can also help anyone who works in Rukia to protect themselves from negativity and to remove negativity and negative entities from other people. I have I'm yet to see a negative spirit that can can, you know, stand against rosemary, to be honest. Even though it's not uh, specifically used traditionally for, for example, the evil eye or stuff like that, but it's really good at breaking curses and, and black magic and also removing envy and jealousy and especially with headaches that are to do with anything spiritual. I hope this has helped guys. If you have any questions or any um, queries, please leave them in the comments. You are more than welcome to and thank you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Most High God bless you all with His power, with health, wealth, love and happiness. And may He keep you and us all free from negativity. Amen and Ameen. Thank you.